patients suffering from intense back pain that isn't helped by other treatments, doctors are increasingly using advanced technology to zap the pain. Neural stimulation seems to be accelerating up the treatment tree, so to speak, to control pain as opposed to sending them for more and more surgeries, more and more medications, more and more injections. Doctors implant a pacemaker-sized device outside the spinal cord. From there, tiny leads send electrical pulses to block pain signals to the brain. The generator is roughly the size of a pacemaker. These devices have been used for decades with one drawback. We're seeing more and more of our patients uh, coming to us with some sort of implantable electronic device. As many as 70 percent of patients who have an implanted device will need an MRI scan in the future. And many of these devices are incompatible. If for some reason 10 years down the line they come in with a stroke and they need an MRI, they can't have an MRI. We have to, do, we have to tr use um, alternative imaging modalities in order to answer those same clinical questions and it's not as easy. Surgically removing the device was an option, an expensive and invasive one, until now. The FDA recently approved the first MRI-friendly spinal stimulator. We're very excited because there are several hundreds of patients locally that are now considered candidates for spinal cord stimulation that would not have been so before the new MRI compatible devices. Now, in addition to pain relief, patients can get peace of mind, knowing they're free to get any exam they need. We have had several patients who have underwent MRIs successfully afterwards. It hasn't restricted their treatment or imaging options. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.